Well, what's up folks, welcome back to the channel, it's Fuzz here, hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Today we're going to be doing another squad building video, that's so what we do around here on Thursdays. It's going to have a 500k budget this time, it's going to be a hybrid. It includes four different leagues, yeah, four different leagues uh, as part of the hybrid, so you know, it's, it's a really unique squad. Um, it's probably one of the best, if not the best, hybrid squad we've built uh, on the channel through this year. And for 500k, it's just absolutely insane. Um, and we'll discuss later in the video that why this price point is so good and why you should be looking at these sort of teams compared to alternative options where you maybe don't get as good of value for money. But if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like, rate, and be greatly appreciate it. it. Helps me know you enjoy the content, it helps algorithm, all that nice stuff. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. We've just hit 600 subscribers, so thank you very much for that. We're on the way to try and aim, aim as a thousand, get us onto the YouTube partner program, that'd be greatly appreciate it. So, I'm going to flick over to Footbin on my PC so I can track the prices and um, that's what I use to do these squad builders and then we'll go over to my squad selector and we've got amazing hybrids so um, if you don't know there's two formations that are the best when it comes to building hybrids you've got the 451 which is what we will be using and then you've also got the 4321 uh, which is like this they're the best two when it comes to squad building uh, typically um, to get like different hybrids in and that kind of thing so similar to the last week i'm going to do it a little bit different i'm going to start with like the strong links we're working with which are the right back and right mid and the left back and the left mid and then we'll look at the center backs and the center mid because that's a, that combo and then obviously the subsequent goalkeeper uh and then you've got the striker and camp set up so we'll start on the left hand side and we'll go with the left back and um, we're going for la liga down the left hand side um i think i'm gonna have to use concepts for majority of these players because I don't have any of them in the club so it might not look as pretty um as it would otherwise but we're going to go with miranda um he got a future stars card got got a reasonably nice boost on it um his price on the market you know he's he's twenty six thousand coins he's one of those left backs where he's better than the gold cards with some key stat improvements uh, and just does a nice job so six one left foot three star week for two star skill moves i know for you skillers out there maybe you don't like the look of this for that reason but it's really the stats like the high medium is a nice work rate combo for fullbacks his pace at 91 is like really well rounded you can boost that where you need to his shooting's not too bad if you do happen to get in those situations with him obviously the finishing isn't there but shot power can save that and at least he has the good attack position in um Vision at 75 isn't as ideal, but he does have the 87 cross and 86 short pass and an 75 long pass, which is okay for this price point. Um, dribbling stats for a fullback are close to being the ideal for this price point. The balance is maybe a little bit heavy with his height, um, but outside of that, like, you're, you're hard to find an 85 dribbling left back at this price, um, I'll be honest. Defending for a fullback is good. Um, I mean, he has more defensive awareness than Theo, Theo Hernandez, who's one of the favorites in the game. So um, he's good around there. You do want to boost that. And then you've got good stamina, which is key. And you throw an anchor in this guy, get plus five PS, get the defend and the physical up, and you're laughing. So he's our left back. So obviously we need a La Liga strong link down the left. It, which is where we go with Brian Gilles. Um, he is also a future star. So, you know, we've got a nice, if I can spell his name, Brian Gilles. Here we go. Um, he was at Spurs, he moved to Valencia and he got a special card. Uh, obviously, two future stars on the left-hand side, both La Liga. Different clubs, but being Spanish and from La Liga gives a strong link, which in the 4-5-1 is all you need to get both on 10 chemistry. Left foot on the left-hand side, ideal. High medium, a 4-star, four 4-star. Four 5 foot 9, um, he's got the 96 agility, 93 balance. Which basically, his dribbling's cracked, which is what makes this card so good. Plus, he has 93 crossing and his passing across the board is good anyway. Um, 95 attack position, 90 finishing, 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, and his jumping and his stamina are decent. You may want to boost the physicals a little bit. Basically, this card's got absolutely nuts stats across the board. I'd be putting a hawk on him. It gets plus 5 on the, uh, on the pace. It gets a shooting boost, including long shots, and then it boosts his um, jumping strength and aggression, which are all really nice. Um, Traits-wise, we didn't look at it, but this guy's got flare trait. Uh, he can score nice finesse shots too. Um, I think that comes. He's only got 82 curve, but he's got. Uh, it's weird. I, I've watched him score some really nice long shots against me. He's 66,000 coins, so he's a bit more expensive. But it means your left hand side is essentially coming in at what about 90,000 coins to have like a really meta left hand side, which includes one of your key attackers. This card slapped on probably because of the links uh, uh, and, and the league and that kind of thing. But he's very very good in game. Now, if we flip over to the right side, this is where we're going to have one of the new cards featuring at the right mid right midfield spot. And I'm going to go with the right back first, just to give you a little bit of hint of who we're going to go with. We're going to use, um, is it Hamari Trore? It is. So it's the right back from Ren. Um, he had his uh, Conference League Road to the Knockout card. So this card can't be upgraded anymore. This is it maxed out. Uh, 
and it, it, his price point is cheap. He's thirty nine thousand coins. He's best, one of the best right backs in in Ligue 1. He's high medium, three star, three star, five nine, which is nice. Uh, he's got the ninety nine stamina, so you know he's going to be up and on the pitch with the ninety five jumping. He's going to be very very nice up and on the pitch as much as you want him to be. Again, eighty five dribbling for this price point is nice. Defending stats are well rounded. Vision again, no, but he does have really good crossing and short pass and long pass, and then the pace is good as well. So you know it's nice, and the traits aren't really anything to speak of, but really nice, well rounded right 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 back for the price. And what this allows us to do is get someone who is insanely cheap for how good he looks, and it's this Doku card that got released on Friday. He goes out of packs um tomorrow. The time of recording this is Thursday. It goes off on a Thursday. At the time of recording this, he's still in packs. Oh, he might be a right wing. Hold on. This might be the confusion. Just Docu in general. Yeah, he's a right wing. So this is a foot birthday guard. So he got a boost to five star weeks too. So he's five foot seven, small and ninety one dribbling. Bodes well here. Four star skills, real nice. Five star weak foot, high medium, nice work rates. PS absolutely cracked out. Attack position and shot power, both really good, which are key. His vision, uh, he's got 81 passing, but he's got 88 vision and 87 short pass, which is like the big keys here. His passing, like this is the guy I'm really going to be using in an attacking sense. I'm going to be putting a shooting boost on him. I'm going to use that five star weak foot to my advantage. Um, his dribbling, his reactions, and his composure are lower than you'd want, but still for 16k absolutely insane 97 agility and 96 balance the stamina isn't perfect it's kind of one of those cards where you, you are sacrificing that's probably why he is cheaper but he's got flair and speed dribbler um you probably want to sub this guy off uh around the 70th minute but for the price point and the, the link he gets into troy here so basically our left mid right mid, our left mid right mid left back and right back are all going to be on 10 cam regardless of what we do now which is the key point here so i really like that I think this sets up a really nice fullback combo with good wingers that you can use in different um in different formations now we'll flick over the center backs and we'll go a little bit quicker on the defensive defensive side of things the first center back is going to be teze uh, and this might give you an idea of where this hybrid's going it's going to be a dutch and uh Eredivisie hybrid here so we're going to use his winter wild card he's got high uh, medium high work rates which is the ideal um for, for a center back three star weak foot and right footed so he can do a job in that regard his defensive stats really nice like 87 defensive awareness 86 interceptions for this price point is good and um, no trace to speak off 92 stamina 93 strength which is a big one for, for these sort of cards uh and his pass is good for a center back too with good dribbling as well so i think what he what is on the market if i check here he's 33 000 coins on the market like uh, this card if it was even premier league in dutch is probably 200k plus like it would be a insanely priced card you can go and anchor on here if you want to really max out the physicals and get the aggression boost which would probably be the big thing or you go shadow for the ps i lean towards shadow uh, and just his 93 strength will bully people it just won't be as aggressive and that would work really nicely and the reason we're using him is really to pair and this is the only sbc player or objective player that's going to be featured in this um so that there's like even if you're watching this in two months time you can still kind of build the squad and it's going to be timber now he has a foot birthday card out it expires at friday the 11th at 6 p.m so at the time of recording this you've really got a day and six hours left um to sort it um so be aware of that there's only two things i dislike about this well two, there's two and a half things i dislike you obviously got a five star boost um with being in foot birthday i would have loved them to do weak foot rather than skill moves i think if you made this guy a five star weak foot three star skill moves uh I think it was three star skill moves maybe it was two star but yeah if you if you give him the five star boost uh onto the weak foot it would make him a fantastic center back he is high medium so high attack and medium defensive which isn't ideal and his reactions are 80 that's the only issue with this card and considering his sbc is like an 84 rated squad it comes in at 46 000 coins it's really easy to craft his physicals are cracked defensive awareness 90 interceptions 87 i'm yet to complete him but i think i'm going to complete him just in case anyway i've got a tesla untradeable in the club obviously creates a strong link option for me his pace is great for a center back the dribble is well rounded defensive awareness like he's just and he can pass he's a very good center back and on that note i want my proper ver version of tezzy in the team here so we need to, we need to go get my tezzy who i own because you know i wanted to at least have a bit of color in this squad builder um where we go remove the concepts boom so this is why i'm probably going to complete timber uh, it means i get a strong link like that on the goalkeeper in front you're kind of you have to use an icon a dutch keeper or someone from the eredivisie the eredivisie options aren't fantastic i'll be honest and um, obviously icons are expensive but maybe you've got them from an icon back the 
budget option we're going to go with is Bizo Bizot. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. He he's got his second inform card, which is 84 rated. Um, like keep in mind, his initial card is 77 rated, and even though they boost like all these face card stats, the reactions and composure stats in game that actually matter don't get affected and on foot ben is showing his reactions is 79 which is actually decent for this card it's quite good around that 80 marks where you want probably closer to 90 but his composure is 47 so that's just something to be aware of if if you have weird moments with him in game that's probably why but for the budget and the links he gives fits in really nicely he is a league and goalkeeper who from Eredivisie it is only a two-star week but he's 6-4 has long throw which i think is important for build out play and saves with feet so has some really nice things on its card for something that costs 14,000 coins and obviously gets the links to the center backs you want to use. So I like that combination. And this back line just looks nice. Like you've got Miranda, Troy, solid fullbacks. You've got Teza and you've got Timber at the center back spots. Just really, really nice. And then we're going to continue the Eredivisie links into the midfield here. And we're going to go with a, another road to the knockout card uh, who unfortunately didn't get many upgrades, I don't believe. And it's going to be Graven Birch. He does have a future search card, which is very expensive. Obviously, that does give you upgrade pass if you wish or if you've been lucky enough to pack him. We're going to the road to the knockout card. He's four star, four star, medium, medium, right footed, six foot three. Nice agility and balance. His, rea his reactions are probably where there's a question mark, but he's got good stamina. He's got outside the foot shot and flair uh, and his good shooting. So he's really a good box to box option. You can use him as a secondary defensive midfielder. It creates like a, uh, a strong link. He actually has a perfect link to Timber, which is which is interesting. And then obviously strong links to Thursday to get full chemistry there. And again, this means everyone is still on 10 chemistry regardless of what we do. I'm going to move into the attacking options now. The striker is someone you're going to have to position change. And it's actually someone I also have in the club, so we can continue the theme of getting a bit of colour into it. It's going to be the, if I can spell his name, I always misspell it, um, Lucas Torreira card. He is 20 coins on the market, which is insane. I paid more, I paid 35,000 coins when he came out. He's a medium high, perfect for defensive midfielder. He is 5'5", five five, which is small, but I want to compare him with the likes of Kante and Variety in this regard. He's a small guy, he moves fast, 96 agility, 98 balance, with 86 acceleration, which you can boost, um, 93 stamina, 95 aggression, which are huge, and um, you put an anchor on him to get that um, that strength boost. 91 interceptions, 88 defensive awareness, can put his rest of the dribble outside of Julian Balance is good. He can pass the ball and distribute, and he actually can shoot if you get into the box. I don't think I have I scored a goal. I haven't, but I've got four assists. This guy, for 20,000 coins, is one of the best DMs in the game. He compares to Kante for me, and that variety card when it came out. So um, it's very much a case of if this guy had a better nation, a better club, and or a better league, He'd be a nut surprise because he's Syria, Uruguay, and Florentina. He, he, he's just cheap. But this is perfect for this hybrid because we can still get him in on 10 chemistry. And really, this is going to be your combination. It's going to be Torreira and Graven Birch, which I think. Uh, sorry, did I mention Graven Birch is 40k? I'm not sure if I did. Graven Birch is 40k. So for 60k, this combination is an absolute bargain. Um, obviously, we still need some attackers here and we need to get the links of Torreira. So the first play, these are probably the only position changes you need, is going to be the Syria guys here. We're going to go with Chiesa uh, as our as our other attacker here. Uh, I need to put him on on set because I don't have him. We're going to use his team, is the team of the year. Yeah, honorable mentions. I was going to say nominee. We're going to be using the team of the year honorable mentions version. It is a striker, which we can convert back to center forward or cam uh, to then get the chemistry. Four star, four star, high medium, real nice. Chiesa's cards have just been good this year. The acceleration with the ninety six combined, uh, you don't really have to touch it. The shooting, 95 short power, 92 long shots, 90 volleys, and then 90s on the attacking uh, attack position and finishing, real nice. For a, we're going to be using them as a striker, uh, or potentially as a cam. Uh, the passing's good. Agility balance, his, just, his dribbling is good across the board. 85 composure where you might have a question mark. But again, for this price point, absolutely cracking. He doesn't have any real traits to speak of, but still 4 star, 4 star, and PSA. He goes in there. And then finally, we need someone that's going to get strong links to our ideally perfect link to Kiesa and a, a strong link into Torreira just to get the chemistry. So our out and out striker that we're going to use is going to be a hero card and it's going to be Di Natale. Maybe you guys seen this coming, but I think he's just hit that point now where he's not as strong on the power curve, but for his price point, he's 90,000 coins in the market. He has a lot to offer. He's high low, which is the perfect word is. He's four star, four star, which is nice. He has finesse shot, outside foot shot, and flare, and also chip shot. He's got the three key, key traits you want for a forward, which is finesse, flare, and outside of the foot shot. His acceleration is 92 and 88 sprint speed. You do need to boost this. And 81 stamina isn't perfect at this point in the game, especially with pressing being so mad, but you can put him on stay forward to help this. 
The dribbling is really well rounded in the 90s. He can actually pass as well for a striker and the finishing is cracked. You put a hunter in this guy and you're absolutely laughing. Now, I'll flick over to Footbin here in a second to show you how it looks um, in game, uh, just so you get an idea that they all do to get 10 chemistry. But this is exactly what you're kind of wanting. Uh, let me just change over the monitors and we'll get on to Footbin for you guys and you can see exactly, exactly, exactly what we're doing. So let's go Footbin. Here we are. Right. So this is how the team looks when you get everyone on 10 chemistry. So you can see here, you position James Torreira to a striker. Uh, depending on what manager you use, you could probably get away as C if you had left. So you don't have to use too much on position changes. If you put uh, center forward um, and center, center forward and then Torreira also on center forward. If you, yeah, all you have to do here is, you can see we add loyalty onto everyone. Boom, everyone's got loyalty. Uh, they're all nine. All you need to do here is get any manager from the Serie A at all, and these guys get 10 cam. So you don't have to spend quite as much on position changers. Terraria, you'll need to change from a DM to a center forward. Jaza and Di Natale from a striker to center forward. You can see here, pricing I've been working with is Xbox, 495,000 coins. PS4 is a little bit more expensive, at 530 and PCs expensive again. But I work for Xbox for my prices. That's the platform I'm on. It makes the most sense. This team's just so well rounded. Um, if you show quickly, 4 4 2, I think would work really nicely here. You can play Terraria, Graven Birch, Box to Boxes, Chiesa, and um, Doku. Uh, sorry, not Doku. Chiesa and the entire just strikers. Um, I think this combination works really well. You do have the option to play 4 2 3 1. Uh, so that's kind of what we built this on is 4 4 2 and 4 2 3 1. And Graven Birch and Terraria again will be your defensive midfielders. Graven Birch, you can let Rome a bit more into Box to Box. Terraria is your sort of dedicated guy. You'll play left attacking mid, Doku at right attacking mid, and then you can choose between Di Natale and Chiesa for which one you want Cam and which one striker. I lean towards Chiesa as striker because of the pace, and then Di Natale does have good passing. You can play Cam. I mean, again, you can play 4 3 threes. Like, I'll, I'll use the normal version, but you can use any variant of a 4 3 3 with this. You're probably going to use Chiesa as striker again. Uh, Gil out there, Di Natale. He, although he's a center mid here, you'll probably use him as an attacking. Uh, he's high low you'll use him as an attacking center mid or maybe that's where you want KAs are there with the physicality and a bit of extra defending and you, you could run like that I think this team would work really well in the 4-3-3-5 um, I did post tactics a couple of weeks ago for that essentially you'd run it like this true DM grabbing boots is there KAs that will just get forward essentially kind of cam roll and then you can play Naro as well just to show you guys all the different options this has I think it's a very versatile build so Torero would be there sorry you want the Naro version it's here the so Torero would be there and I uh, uh, player um probably i'm trying to think i'd be tempted to use gil at center mid uh, and then have doku at striker alongside kieda di natale playing cam and this would work fantastic so that just gives you guys a bit of an idea of what, what you can do with this team and everything i'll show you back to the team that's what you're going to build it as so Hope you enjoy it. Uh, if, as always, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you like this team, if there's any changes you make, if there's players you've used and like, if you do test out the team in general, how you get on. Um, let me know as well any budgets or themes you want to see moving forward. Um, this one wasn't uh, community um, like suggested. The, the two videos beforehand had been. So if you've got any themes or budgets you want to see, let me know and I'll do my best to get them incorporated for you. So as it stands, I'll probably have a video tomorrow night uh, up on the content and then it'll be Monday for custom tactics again. Thank you for supporting all the videos guys it's been greatly appreciated and obviously the um the, the the growing subscriber count is nice so if you did enjoy the video hit the like button hit that subscribe button see me for our future content also check me out on twitter and the discord you can join there to have a little chance we even like the ucl footballs on last night we we're having chats in the discord about it so big community we're trying to build we're trying to build a nice big positive community for all things football tech fifa and all that good stuff thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye